All right, everyone get ready, because on today's Deep Dive, we are talking about restaurant names. Oh, yeah. And more specifically, restaurant names gone wrong. Okay. Like, have you ever seen a restaurant name and been like, what? Absolutely. You... What is going on? 100%. How did this happen? Yeah, yeah. So that's what we were talking about today. Mm -hmm. And we've got a great source to dive into this mm -hmm. with. Oh. Um, we've got Lee Chazen's Medium Post and also their YouTube video. And it's both titled the same thing. Yeah. It's Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Seriously. Yeah, what a concept to tackle. Seriously. Like, that's amazing. I mean, they hit the nail on the head with that title. Yeah. Because it is one of those ones where you're just like, who? Like, how, what is how did this happen? Yeah. yeah. It really does make you question, like, whose state house is it? Yeah. Like, is it Ruth's? Is it Chris's? Did she inherit it from him? Right. Like, what's the deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Chris a type of steak? Like, I'll have the Chris. <laughs> the Chris cut. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, And then on top of that, we have the apostrophe. Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> like, what is happening there? The apostrophe is just... It's just all over the place. Yeah. And Chasen does a really good job of kind of, like, breaking down mm -hmm. all the reasons why this is so confusing. Oh, yeah, and, like, why it's grammatically incorrect. Yeah. Um, you almost feel bad for the apostrophe. You do. Just, like, trying to do its job. It's trying its best. I, mean, it's, I it's, feel it's, like it's, it's misused it's, so often. It's true. Um, and then if that wasn't bad enough, they're like, oh, hold my beer. Exactly. We're also going to talk about Carl's Jr. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Which is another one of these, like. Another head scratcher. Sure is there a Carl Jr. out there Yay. that we're supposed to know? Like, is he the son of, yeah. of Carl? Yeah, did he get written out of the will for the restaurant or something? Exactly. L what's happening there? Yeah, where's Carl Sr.? So. It's just like. They decided to make these restaurant signs. Yeah. Yeah. To confuse the public. To just like really like make us question everything. Absolutely. So this is going to be a good one. I'm excited. Um, so let's get into it. So how do those names actually come about? So Ruth's Chris. It actually started with a woman named Ruth. Okay. And she bought a steakhouse hmm. that was already called Chris Steakhouse. What? I know, right? So she just... And she had to keep the name. She had to keep to Chris. She was contractually obligated. Oh, my goodness. Because you keep the name Chris in it. Wow. So then... That's amazing. There was a fire, oh, no. and they had to relocate. Okay. And so she was like, well... Right, we're going to change things up. Yeah, I guess if I have to keep Chris, we're going to make it Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Oh, my goodness. It's like, her name wasn't Chris. No. It was Ruth. Well, and she know. apparently hated it. Really? Yeah, she hated the name, but well, it's iconic now. That's amazing. And then Carl's Jr. Yeah, what about that one? There's no Carl Jr. What? Yeah, there's no Carl Jr. At all. It's just a smaller version of Carl's drive-in barbecue. What? Yeah. So it was just like, hey. It was a smaller menu, faster service. It's like the junior version. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The OG Express. Wow. So really, we're just looking at a junior version. Yeah, basically. Of the restaurant. Exactly. Oh my God. It's like they were the first ones to think of that. Did to yeah. be like mini me. Yeah. A smaller version. That's wild. Yeah. So what does this all mean? Uh, like, what can we take away from this? Yeah. Like, what do we do with this information now? It kind of just goes to show that, like, mm -hmm. a name is a name. Yeah. You can make anything work. Yeah. If it's attached to a good product. That's true. Like, if it's a good steak. Right. They're going to come. Yeah. You could call it anything. Exactly. And they'll still come. Exactly. They'd be like, did you go to question mark yeah like what was the name of that place exactly that's so funny yeah it's just a label so really like the big takeaway here is yeah don't judge a restaurant by its name exactly or do or do maybe that's what makes it interesting yeah embrace the chaos yeah lean into it well there you go folks there you have it another deep dive Tolved. another mystery yeah until next time